So today we're going to look at goose. I have a six and a half kilo goose here from rare breed meat in Essex. I love goose at Christmas, but it is an animal that daunts a lot of people. It's best for me taken down into its various components. Take the breasts off, take the legs off and comfy the legs slowly, make use of all that amazing fat that comes with it to cook your roast potatoes. And then you get all this lovely offal which you can put into your stuffing. It's a cracking bird, but treating this way will give you the best result. Okay, the first thing to do with our goose is to remove the head just behind the wishbone. Use a large chopping knife to chop through and the heel of your hand just to finish the job. Take off the actual head, but make sure you keep the neck. The neck is going to come into play later and it plays a really big part in this goose. Next thing we want to do is remove the legs. Just make a nice cut all the way down the side and fold that leg right back to you expose the thigh bone, cut under the thigh bone, one clean cut all the way through and retain the leg. Repeat this on the other side. To finish these legs, we need to cut all the way around and remove that sinew. So really sharp knife all the way around and use the back of a chopping knife to break the leg just by the foot. That bone will come, come off nice and clean and we can have that later for comfy. Again, straight around the sinew, must cut through that sinew, the back of the knife, otherwise you'll break the knife, break the bone and our legs are ready to put away. Next thing we're gonna do is to remove the wings. They cut straight through the cartilage in between the two joints, a little hit with a knife and off they come. And those wings we can cut, salt gently and cook for comfy later on with the legs. The next thing we need to do is remove the breasts. But it's really important before we do that to remove the wishbone. This is going to allow the breasts to come off in one even cut rather than having to cut around the wishbone inside the animal and losing a lot of the breast meat, they're so valuable. So just make an incision either side of the wishbone, put your hand in, twist and pull and out it comes. It should resemble exactly the wishbone that you get out of a cooked chicken, just slightly bigger. Then we're ready to take the breasts off. So slide the knife at a very slight angle towards the breastbone, all the way down, cut round the top and just gently slide the knife round. Use the very tip of the front of the knife, don't use the whole blade and slide the knife all the way down. Cut between the breastbone and the wing joint at the bottom and that breast will come straight off the bird. Same on the other side, cut all the way around the top, cut all the way to the bottom of the breast and cut between the breastbone and the thigh bone. Don't worry about trimming it up now, we just want to get those breasts off and the carcass nice and clean. The next part is a little gruesome but it needs to happen because inside there is all that fantastic goodness and all those goodies, that offal sitting inside. So we need to pull away that front fat. Then we need to separate the carcass from the rib cage. Undo that and remove the heart. The heart is a beautiful piece of the animal which we must reserve. Inside you can see there's an enormous amount of fat. We want to retain that fat because it's really, really delicious. Hold on to that. Put your hand down the back and pull forward and out will come all of the offal and entrails and we can remove the gizzard and the liver from the entrails. Reserve all these bones because they're going to make a fantastic gravy later on. But I'm just nipping off any fat that's hanging around because that's going to get rendered down and produce the most beautiful goose fat for us later. So there's my pile of fat which is going to get rendered and there's my carcass that I'll reserve later for making stocks. So when you take these livers off, just very gently, there is a green bile sac which you can see I just hit there. Not great practice but good example to show you. Don't hit the bile sac, 
and if you do, make sure you get a cloth and wipe it all up. That green bile is extremely bitter and will taint all the meat if you're not careful. So just try not to cut around it and wipe it up if you do clip it. Pull all that fat off. That, again, that goes into our rendered fat pot. And just remove that bile, that green bile, get rid of it. We want to release the, the gizzard. The gizzard is the piece of the animal that filters all the meat. It takes in all the stones and the maize that the goose eats and it filters it and keeps all the stones. So when I open it up, you'll see inside there is all the stones the, from the gizzard. We need to clean these out before we remove the silver cartilage on the outside. Cut the gizzard straight in two and you can see all those stones. Remove those stones and give the board a wipe down. Now split the gizzard into two pieces and it's a very simple job, almost like filleting a fish. You need to cut down the silver, silver skin all the way to the bottom, turn the gizzard over and cut underneath. You basically need to end up with a gizzard with no silver skin on it and none of that tough outer cartilage that houses it. These gizzards will get comfied with the legs and the necks and the wings and they'll get cooked in their own fat for hours on end to make them really succulent and beautiful. A gizzard from a goose or a duck is an absolute delicacy in France and I would consider it so here too. Next we need to trim that breast up. So let's revisit the breast. We take away the wing, just cut all the way down the side and just slice through the fat until we have only the right amount of fat covering the breast. All this fat, don't forget, gets kept, so there's no wastage involved. With the wing, it's a little bit similar to the leg. We cut all the way around the sinew and use the back of a knife just to cut through the bone to break it off and leave it nice and clean. That gets confit later with our legs and our gizzards. So again, with the breast, just cut all the way around and there's a piece of silver sinew on top of the breast on the meat side that needs to come off. Remove the fillets and hold these for later. They're going to cook at a very different time to the breast, so let's not have those attached to the breast. Remove that silver sinew on the back of the breast and cut the fat to match the breast size. What I like to do now is to score the breast, it's really important. This allows the fat to render out of the breast and for the breast to become really, really crispy when it goes in the pan. Now when you cook these goose breasts, just lay them in the pan without any fat. Just lay them in, a little bit of seasoning top and bottom and let them just render down on a really low heat. They'll cook really beautifully in their own fat. All that fat will render out. We can baste the breast with the fat and use that to cook them. They're beautiful. So that's one breast ready to go in the pan. And this bird will feed eight people quite easily. So that's a breast that will feed four really happily. Again, the wing on the other side, just cut all the way around the sinew, break the back with the back of a knife, pull it off and hold on to that wing. Any trimmings I'm reserving with the bones and we can use these to make a lovely gravy or roast the legs on top of those to make a nice sauce. Again, just remove the silver skin on the, on the back of the breast, remove the fillet and score the breast all the way down to the flesh but not into it. One way and then the other. Now the neck. To revisit the neck, it's really important this piece for me. Remove the neck by peeling it, peeling the skin back, pulling out the neck and reserving that. That neck's going to get cooked comfy again with the gizzards and the legs and the wings. That's really beautiful meat. Now the neck, it's important to remove the, the windpipe and get rid of that. And now turn the neck inside out, lay it on a board and just scrape off any fat or veins or sinew that's laying inside. We're gonna use this, this neck piece, almost like a cavity or a sausage casing to make a beautiful gooseneck terrine. So let's open that up. We're gonna fill it with our confit meat, sew it back up again, and then we're gonna cook it in some goose fat. It's a really important part of the process for me and that's why I like to take my time to clean it up like this.
The Goose offers so much opportunity for versatile cooking. There's a terrine in there, there's a lovely salad with the fillets, there's the roast breast, there's the confit legs you could serve with lentils, there's the livers and the hearts that you could make a beautiful offal skewer or stuffing or a beautiful stock out of those bones. But there we have it, the broken down goose, the fat and the bones.